So this is a, a still life painting that uses uh, a Dutch golden age uh, still life as well as the still lives by a Jesuit missionary that was actually within the, the emperor's uh, palace, the Chinese emperor's uh, palace. And, um, and then I have these kind of uh, uh, fictional sort of sunflower motifs and they're all inside a vase that actually belonged to the summer palace that is now was looted and is in current, currently in a French museum and I believe in, a, in an exhibition right now. And then it's sitting on this uh, map of the, the summer palace area. And uh, here we have uh, one of the iconic sort of uh, ruins of the Yuanming uh, Gardens. It's uh, a painting that kind of uh, timelines the birth of modern capitalism, which is about 370 years ago with the Dutch Golden Age. The East India Trade Company, one of the most powerful, and the Dutch, Gold, uh, the Dutch uh, East India Trade Company, um, you know, it became one of the first global companies uh, that I believe even in today's terms would be one of the largest companies in a, uh, ever. And, um, and they were, of course, were responsible for uh, colonization, slavery, and militarized trade routes. And they also helped to force uh, opium trafficking uh, to be legalized in China through the opium wars that the English and the French uh, conducted, along with other uh, great powers, or great colonial powers at the time. And so this painting is about that moment in which uh, the, the English and the French uh, decided to punish uh, the Chinese for not ratifying the treaty that they signed after losing the Second Opium War. And they burnt down the Summer Palace over a period of days. And uh, it's estimated that um, uh, millions of items are spread across 47 museums around the world, having been looted you know, from the Summer Palace. And so this kind of fiery like sort of uh, palette here is kind of in reference to the, the burning of the palace. And sunflowers are these kind of, mot it's a motif in which uh, are used, you know, in um, posters uh, to look at, you know, the sun and uh, the item or person from which the, the sunflowers are looking at are usually a kind of uh, thought of as a, a sun god. But in this painting, uh, they're almost turning towards uh, the viewer uh, uh, itself, as opposed to what might have been in the past to the emperor itself.